first question is, I'm a 26-year-old single female. Um, I started, I got a 35 year life insurance policy. But my question is to see if that's beneficial for me or if I should shoot for something more of a whole life insurance, even though I, I don't have any um, dependents at this moment. It's okay. Whole life insurance will pay you for the rest of your life. I think it's a good time to buy whole insurance. I'm not sure what your budget looks like because whole insurance is more expensive than term. The, whole, the thing about term is that term is cheap. It's a, it, it's a rental insurance policy. A whole insurance policy is like you're buying a home, right? So for that term, you are covered. Whole insurance will pay you else like buy or buying a car but it's a it's a bit more expensive i'd say don't get it for the full amount that you have on your term insurance but maybe you take out a fifty thousand dollar whole life policy and that'll you know it'll grow some value for you okay and what's the like the term like i mean any of the life insurance policies is are all of those strictly like you have to do medical exams with those or are generally Generally, anything over twenty-five or fifty thousand dollars, you have to do an exam. Make sure. Thank you. Keep your young self healthy. Get that insurance. We appreciate it, cousin. So thank you for being here. Come on, honey. Give her applause. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, and the Jennifer Hand. Give her that. Give her. Uh, give her a ding. Do give her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The other ding. The other. Hey, you guys. I hope that you can see me because I'm driving and I kind of just hit the record button on my phone rather quickly and I need to watch this road because I'm on like one of those whiny whiny roads. I do this road every single day you guys and every single day it's a challenge. <laughs> it's totally one of those like you better pay attention because one wrong move um, will have your car flying and there's two-way traffic on this road too so anyway guys how are you um, I'm on my way home I've been driving for a while already let me turn this down but um, I decided to come to you guys really quickly and talk for a second um, probably not a second because y'all know how I do but um, hold on you guys green anyway um yeah i'm just chit-chatting with you guys i leave for canada tomorrow um so um i'm trying to record or just chat about you know the things that's on my mind because i want to record these things i want to record how i'm feeling and what's going on in my life that's why my vlog channel was started so the other day I almost got ran over by a 16 wheeler truck you guys it was terrible it was so terrible no fault of my own if you've been watching me for a while I don't really like driving I of course driving is a necessity for me um, I'm a New Yorker so I have taken the train a large portion of my life the train and bus but once I bought my home um, the train situation was really mm, not working for me any longer. Um, it's just too much. It's, it's, it's just too much. So I decided that I was going to drive. And then I started driving. And this is just what it is. But when you drive long distance, as I do every single day, um, there's so many encounters on the road like I swear to you guys Most of the time I can't take my eyes off the road for a second Nobody should really be taking their eyes off the road, but in some Areas where there's like less traffic or like less obstacles You kind of can you know, you know the road you might be able to look down at something or um grab something real quick and then put your eyes like I feel like honestly the roads that I take like I cannot take my eyes off the road because that one second I'll end up in the woods I'll end up in a ditch I'll end up hitting people um, I have hikers on these roads there's no barrier you guys so there are days when I'm literally like dodging humans 
because people are stupid for one like granted as a driver if you drive then you always have to proceed any um place with caution and if there's people on the road obviously you have to you know slow your speed and maneuver your car um accordingly but people don't pay attention to damn cars in the road and they're just walking stepping out into the road not paying attention and you have to swerve or slam on your brakes i mean literally every day every day that it's a nice day that's what I'm doing. So this morning it was actually rainy, but the sun has come out and I'm I'm happy about that. Rain just causes another freaking issue when driving in this area. But anyway, so let's get back to me almost getting hit by a truck. So I'm on the road and I literally want to say I'm like maybe 10 minutes from my um, my workplace and I'm getting off of an exit right so the way this road is set up the road splits so you go some traffic will go to the left some traffic will go to the right a lot of times people mistakenly or they don't give themselves enough time and they'll end up end up getting off at the wrong exit but the exit to the right you actually can run back into traffic to the left, but you just have to drive a little, you know, further up. A lot of people don't realize that. So this fucking truck driver, 16 wheeler, is that like the biggest truck? It was huge, and he had a load. He was carrying something. First of all, he was swerving on the road basically the whole time that we were driving. Um, so... You know, guys, a lot of times with truck drivers, too, they have been driving for, like, extended hours, 15-hour um, shifts, and their job is making money with driving. So the faster they get shipments and loads to wherever they drop, they're dropping their stuff off, the more money they get, the next job they could take. So a lot of times, these drivers are not sleeping, you know what I mean? and they're just trying to get to that next job, which causes safety concerns, you know what I mean? So I have been on the road countless times with sleepy drivers, distracted drivers um, in these trucks, in these big trucks, and it's not easy, as easy, like if you were in a car or SUV, to kind of like correct your mistakes. When you're driving, I feel like everybody, you have, you know, looked down or looked away have gotten distracted or made you know the wrong turn or whatever and you kind of correct your mistake with the, those big trucks your mistake can kill a bunch of people because it's such a large vehicle like you have to be very cautious so I'm getting off of my exit driving and here comes this damn truck barreling out of the the other exit like driving over like the <laughs> the partition the grass everything like he clearly was like I'm not I'm not gonna miss my exit and I don't care who I run over in the process so now I saw him but there really was nowhere for me to go because there was nowhere for me I couldn't swerve to the right because his ass was in the right lane like I'm about to pass a runner right now okay um his ass was in the right lane and to the left lane cars were just zooming by so most of the time like i i look you know but in in like an immediate reaction sort of situation to avoid an accident you probably don't look you probably automatically swerve your car to one way or the other to avoid the accident thank god because i swerved i looked and there was a car like oh so close but I was able to swerve away from fucking this truck hitting me and um, slow down a little bit and swerve back to get behind his ass because the, the other car would have hit me um, without being fucking ran over and killed. Like, I'm sorry. It, the road is so dangerous. And this is exactly why I don't like driving. And I don't like driving 
up here where I am, I must say it's a lot more uh, peaceful than open and it's not like bumper to bumper traffic or like every turn there's people no but you run into other things like i said animals in the in the in the freaking winter with the deer and um even in the summer i think deer are out then the the woods the that is dark up here then you have the highways that lead to the city all the trucks are on there like i swear if i had enough money I would have a driver seriously and at one point when I was living when I was living in the city and I was taking the train I wasn't even driving to work and I had got to that point where I was like sick of taking the train I was like I am going to hire a driver and my husband was like are you serious I was like I am 100% serious and I really started to do like research and I was just like am I really gonna waste my money on a driver and this is when we didn't have a house or nothing look at these people look at these people and i got so oh god so many people i don't know what y'all can see because i'm not really looking at my phone but maybe y'all can see on the side of the road there's people like walking there's cars and then this is a hike city hiking city it's you know one of the reasons i moved up here but then you got to deal with the the human beings on the side of the road and then people have their kids um with them hiking and the kids are definitely not paying attention and they can just run into the damn road there's no room for mistakes this ro this road that i'm on right now there's no shoulder there's no really space to make a mistake if there was an accident on this shit like traffic would be backed up for hours like it's like when you if you could drive this road here you a you a pro you a pro driver and i've been driving it for a little bit i still don't consider myself a pro driver because pro drivers don't be like i don't want to drive and i'm like i don't want to drive <laughs> seriously i'd rather just sit um in the back seat with a book or something or sit in the back and sleep when my husband and i were commuting together i was just so appreciative he would drive basically every day come get my ass drive and i could just go to sleep i didn't have to worry about the road and then one day we got into an argument because <laughs> he came to get me and I needed to stop in the mall right so I was like all right meet me in front of the mall I gotta go get something right he was like cool so I think I took like a long time and he was tired and he was frustrated excuse me and I get to the car and he's not in the driver's seat right he's in a passenger seat so I was like I'm not driving and he was like what like I was like I'm not driving he's like crystal are you serious right now like I'm tired. I've been waiting for you for like two hours. You, I drive every single day. You can't drive this one day. Like he was going off. I was like, you know what? You absolutely right. But you know what? He still didn't. He he ended up getting back in the driver's seat because I was like, I don't want to drive. So he was like, forget it. <laughs> I felt bad though because driving is is a is taxing. It is taxing. Like you, especially like if you're tired and you know you've been working all day and we live far like ugh, it's a lot it's a lot all right more people up here Damn. what else i want to talk about you guys so trumpito's budget for our country you guys um i'll leave should i leave a link i'll leave a video because there's a bunch of people now talking about it um basically all the things that Trump wants to cut from the budget and most of those things will affect working class people and poor people um, he wants to cut food stamps which he I mean they've been talking about doing that the snap benefits forever and they want to cut that by billions so a lot of people are gonna end up without food stamps um, and they are also trying to put in place you will not be able to receive benefits unless you can prove that you can't work which I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing because I, I do believe there's um, people in this system that are collecting 
that um, are getting over. You know, people that collect, um, they get housing, they get food stamps, you know, they get the little government assistance, and there's nothing wrong with them, you know? I definitely believe there are people like that that take advantage of the system, and those people should definitely be weeded out. But there's still tons of people that work every day um, who still can't survive off of these little petty jobs people need jobs they don't they don't need cuts in their um in their benefits provide good paying jobs for people um and i know that's a lot easier said than done but this is where we need to start don't cut people's benefits off before you have tried to create jobs like i just it, it just seems so silly to me Again, like, I do believe there needs to be, um, you know, different things put in place so the people that are taking advantage of the system, um, you won't wait till the last minute to put your thought. Hmm. Those people could be weeded out. But the people that genuinely need help, and I don't think, like, welfare or government assistance should be a life of forever thing. There are people that I know personally that have been on welfare basically all their lives. Like, when and there's, I'm not saying, you know, at some point maybe they didn't need welfare, but what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you getting a job now? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Get your ass up. I don't care if you have to work. And I tell this to my, the girls that I mentor, I tell this to my younger cousins, I tell this to anybody. It is better to say you work in McDonald's and you are earning your own money and you have a, a job than to be waiting for a, a check to come in the mail and you sitting at home on your ass not doing anything, but then you complaining about they don't give you enough money. Because I know people like that too, that they're on um, these, these programs and they're complaining. I can't see shit. All right, now I can see it's the sun. And they're complaining about not um, not being able to get enough benefits to survive. So I'm like, okay, if you feel like you are not getting. Um, enough money to do what you want to do in your life why don't you go get a job like i just i can't i don't understand why you still sitting in the house complaining because if you're able to get up and get more money then you need to go get more money so let me let me move on because i could talk about that all day um so yeah he he that budget is gonna if it gets approved um it has to go through different channels you guys this is just his preliminary submit submittance to um congress um the senate and we will see but he wants to cut medicaid he wants to cut Social Security. The other lady, the educational lady, Betsy DeVos, she's cutting a bunch of shit like after school programs and all this other stuff. Like basically all the stuff it seems like they're cutting will affect um, the lower class of people or the people that can't afford to do a lot of these things without, um, you know, the assistance of the government like I, I just feel like and it's not just it's not just black people like the the if you do your research black people don't receive as much welfare as white people so the people like in those rural areas and stuff in the south and all of that that's like so pro trump oh trump's gonna do this trump's gonna do that they're the ones that's on these government a lot of them are on these government programs they're gonna suffer the most so y'all need to go be bad at trump if this passes because y'all not gonna be able to get y'all snap benefits or you ain't gonna be able to get as much and people are already complaining that they don't get one lady i was speaking to she's not from new york she was here visiting 
somebody that I know and she was saying that she has three jobs she has two kids and um, it was still she wasn't making enough money basically to provide basic food so she went and applied for food stamps and they gave her a budget of a hundred dollars a month a hundred dollars a month for three kids two kids two kids I mean what well, I meant to say three people because her and her two kids that's three people a hundred dollars a month I, I just I that's not enough money for three people in a household to survive I'm sorry and I don't know you guys I, I there's so much I want to say but I can't really get into all that right now what the hell is that anyway also you guys um I am backed up again with vlogs I feel like I have months worth of vlogs we're in may almost june i probably still have vlogs from like f the end of february i am going to load them up because i recorded them but um i'm sorry i do apologize i really be trying to make an effort to keep up with um doing these videos and these vlogs and stuff but it's just it just never works out that way for me um you know, it, it, sometimes I have so much downtime, and then other times it's just like I don't have a minute. I don't even have a minute to myself. But I love you guys, and thank you for um, supporting and commenting and all that good stuff. Shout out to my family. I love you guys sharing my videos, making fun of me, clowning me. But it's all good. Um, they know I'll be kicking that knowledge, too. Mm. All right, you guys, that's all I'm going to say right now, 22 minutes. I will catch you guys later. Um, I have to kind of start preparing for my trip to Canada. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I have to go upstairs and get my little weekend travel bag. And, um, yeah. And then when I come back, we are, um, I'm having company, child, my life is just super, super busy. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.